G'day! In today's video, I'm doing a RAM upgrade on a Stealth 14 Studio with the model number A13VF219AU. Right now. And I've got 32 gig of DDR5, single crucial sodium. And I'm, just, I'm using a very small triple zero screwdriver. So it is teeny tiny. It's what I use to work on phones. So probably something not quite that small, but a standard Phillips head you've got floating around the house probably won't fit this machine. As I'm undoing these back screws, I realize I don't need to undo them. I just need to undo these two by the looks of it. One, factory seal over here. Two, that looks like all there is there. I'm skeptical. And also curious if that's the case. Try and pry it just up over here. No, no, something a bit smaller. No, there must be some form of trick here. What have we got? Or is this section here completely fake? Possibly. Mm. I am skeptical that this patch here is not what it looks like. So far the two screws along here have been small. Go. That's all of them nearly. This one over here. It'd be rather annoying if this section here is not. Take out this USB, try a little bit here. There we go, that's popped it. Why put the trim there if it doesn't come off? That is just kind of silly. <laughs> anyway, before I proceed, I do want to disconnect the battery down the bottom here. As I am actually not too sure if this one is on, and I'd much rather not risk frying it. So if I pull this bit up here, There we go, that's one battery disconnected. In theory, if I look under here, if it will let me. Uh, nope, I need a different pry tool for this one. Now yeah, we're making progress. There we go. One shield off. And to replace the RAM in here is relatively straightforward. These tabs here pull out, flick up, then that can pull out, and that's one stick of RAM removed. As we can see, this is 8 gig of 5600 megahertz RAM. Now the customer does want me to leave the other 8 gig in there. So I'll do what their wishes are, which is adding simply adding the 32 gig stick of RAM to it to make up a total of 40 gig of RAM in this particular machine. So he's getting a nice hefty upgrade there. Tap that out. Touch some metal prior to grabbing the RAM. And that should line up down here. Line up, just kind of rest there. And from there, I should just be able to push it into place, like so. So it should click and lock into position. With the RAM, you won't have to actually do anything further other than installing it in there. So that is fine. Next, I want to line up this edge here with the edges there, here. You can see the little metal tabs. I should just be able to line that up. Push. 
go. That's it reinstalled. While you're in there, you can change your Wi-Fi card, you can update or replace your SSD, which would be, a, funny enough, a larger screw than what the screws were to get in here. The screw itself should unscrew, should be able to lift it up just slightly and walk it backwards. Do feel a thermal pad on the bottom here. That was keeping it stuck down. We have a Samsung SSD, what model are we? One terabyte, an MZ VL 21T00. Not familiar with that particular one. Reinstallation is basically the same as RAM. Line the notches up here and here. Push that in, push that down. The suction of the thermal pad is holding it there. Put in your screw. If you are replacing that, you will potentially have to reinstall Windows afterwards. This is like tilting at an angle. And push down. There we go. Bit of a janky connection on this one. That's done. Next up is putting that back cover back on. We'll stick the original stick of RAM in here. Now we'll start from the side that has the headphone jack on it, as there's more chance of damaging that than any other port, I believe. Slide that over and back. And not quite. Or whether or not we fold it down from the front is another potential possibility. Okay. Go. That's all connected up, looking nice and proper. Screws I'll drop into the holes. Go. Yeah, funnily enough, the M.2 screw has a larger head than the external screws on this laptop. Two larger screws go in the middle. Uh, and one here. Done. You just need to go pop, pop, pop. But that's some RAM upgraded on an MSI Stealth 14. Bye.